Hey, what is going on my guys? I am another vegan. If you guys don't already know, this is another video. And today we're gonna be talking about something that you guys have been asking for a while. Now disclaimer, I am not a audio engineer. I just like to make beats and I, I try to, you know, do my best to make them sound clean. And this is what I have. So if you guys have any tips for me, I have no problem. Let me know down in the comments below. With that being said, if you guys haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click that red button down below. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any content. And with that being said, let's go straight into FL Studio and see how we can get a better mix. All right, guys. So today, instead of just giving you guys a couple tips that you guys can, you know, go back and take and apply to your mixes, I want to show you guys an actual example of a beat that I made months and months, probably over a year ago and the mix is not that great. I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys in a few, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remix this beat. I'm gonna change some of the sounds and really just change the entire energy of this track just by changing a couple sounds and a couple tweaks here and there when it comes to the leveling and mixing. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit and then we can move forward. that mix that mix is not it the idea is cool but the mix is not it all right so let's move to the first thing that we're going to work on which is the melody itself now honestly there's not much to do with the melody i'm going to go ahead and throw a parametric eq on this just to have some of the lows taken out so that we have some you know room for the bass and then i'm going to go ahead and add some valhalla reverb and then we can change the mix knob to like 13 percent. i don't want the the reverb to be too overpowering Okay, now that's fine with me. All right, so let's move on to the second instrument we have here, which is the 808. Now, I'm not remixing the beat in terms of sounds and changing it, but I'm remixing it in terms of mix. You feel me? So, first thing I noticed is that this 808 is way too low. It's peaking at, what, negative 8 dB. We have a lot of room. Now, if we're setting this off to an engineer so that he can, you know, mix and master and we give him headroom, that's fine. But we're not doing that right now. And the next thing we can do is actually turn the 808 up more and the channel volume here. And as you guys can see, now we're peaking around negative 3 negative four now let's go ahead and move to the kick because we all know how important the kick and 808 relationship is and we all know that it's probably the hardest to get down and get the right way so let's move on to this second part right here now let's just listen to this kick and 808 now that is not it at all so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and change the kick so I changed the kick sound. Now what we can do is turn off the 808, focus on the kick itself. And right now we're hitting at, I'd say around around negative three dB. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the volume up in the piano roll, just to get some extra velocity. And now obviously, as you can hear, that's too much. So let's go ahead and back it off. So around there is good. Now we can go ahead and enter the 808 and see where we have problem areas to make the kick and the 808 align and sound a lot better. So we can lower the 808 just a little bit. So as you guys can see, there's a little, there's a little like small delay. So what I'm gonna do with the kick is I'm actually gonna go ahead and delay the kick a bit. A 20 or 30 hertz cut. Cut out any frequencies that we don't need. Same thing with the kick. I'm gonna go ahead and add a peak controller. Add another parametric EQ, go to around 60 hertz because I know that's the most concentrated area of this kick that I'm using. Right click the same band over here in this section, link to controller, inverted increment. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me do this plenty of times before. Peak controller, take the time down, take the smoothing off, and then here we go. All 
All right, so that's our kick and that's our 808 relationship. I'm gonna go ahead and enter this clap. Now, why do I have a fruity chorus on the clap? <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. I'm taking this off. Okay, the, the clap is kind of basic. It's kind of cool, but I'm going to go ahead and boost some of the highs. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and change this clap also. And I'm also going to go ahead and boost some of these highs still. Now that's way too loud, so let's lower the volume on that. Let's go ahead and get these hi-hats in here. Now, cool hi-hats, but I'm going to go ahead and change that sound too. They're at a good level. The only thing I'm going to do is just slightly tweak them and move them to the left just a little bit. Now, look, this is honestly the easiest way that I believe that you can just level your 808s and level your kicks. Just level everything in your track so that everything is where it's supposed to be or at least around the same area. All right. So the kick, we have it coming in around. What's this? Negative 3 dB right here. Then let's introduce the 808 because these are going to be the two loudest elements of our beat. So that sounds good to me right there. And right now we're hitting just under 0 dB. So let's go ahead and turn the peak control on. There we go. Now we can go ahead and level everything else around this kick in 808. Now let's go ahead and get the clap in. And now we can get the hi-hats in. And right after that, there's not much to really mix in here because that's pretty much it. That's almost the entire beat right there. We had this little box sound. And we have a delay three and a love filter on there. That sounds fine to me. And now all we have to do is introduce the melody. Now we can go ahead and add a fruity limiter and, and put the ceiling up and also put the gain up up until we feel like it's starting to distort a little bit too much and then we can move it back down. And that right there is how you level a beat in like five minutes. Very easy, very simple, nothing too complicated. Once your ears kind of get adjusted to what should sound good and you start to reference your tracks compared to tracks that you hear um, from your favorite artists, the leveling becomes a lot easier. If you haven't hit the notification bell, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that button so you won't miss any content. And with that being said, I am out of here. Thanks.